yes good morning students good afternoon good afternoon students uh, in previous class we discussed about trigonometric uh, function as well as the measure of measure of, measure of uh, angle degree measure radius measure and how to convert radius to degree degree to radius so the application from them that we have learned and previous class we have learned about Hmm. About uh, how to find or how to decide the sine of a trigonometric function. When it belongs to first quadrant, second quadrant, third quadrant, base in the form of tangent in the form of ninety minus theta, sixty plus theta, ninety plus theta, one eighty minus theta, one eighty plus theta. Two seventy minus theta, two seventy plus theta, three sixty minus theta. This is Q one, Q two, Q three, Q four. As we know, all regular three class members, all regular three class members, we have in first order all trigonometric ratios are. Positive. Say that the sum of applications we use, finding the value of the trigonometric function, the value of trigonometric ratio, a trigonometric function, other than acute angle, other than acute angle, even in this. So, if we can learn in previous class how to find the value of trigonometric ratio at acute angle, but now you will learn the values how to find at the acute angle, which is the form of 90 minus theta, 90 plus theta, 180 minus theta, 180 plus theta, 270 minus theta, 270 plus theta. Three minus theta, three three plus theta. So, so let us explain the interior class. I mean, interior class. We will now learn how to find all five trigonometric ratios when they mention specific quadrant as well as any one trigonometric function is given. Let us now discuss about the how to find the value of trigonometric function at particular angle when it is given either radius. Radial measure or a degree measure by by writing in the form of either in the form of n into three sixty plus theta or n into three sixty minus theta. Always if you get if any angle in the form of n into three sixty plus theta minus theta becomes sine theta. But plus theta means it becomes the first quadrant to positive. But whenever in sine sine ratio. There is no sine ratio, but sine is changing because there is the minus theta log to four quadrant. Similarly, we can write a cos n into three sixty plus theta. We know the first quadrant is become cos theta. So cos n into three sixty minus theta four quadrant. As we know, cos is positive, so it becomes plus cos theta. How we get the first quadrant? Similarly, like we learn, when is the combination of this? So we know three sixty plus theta plus quadrant is tan positive, but whenever n into three sixty minus theta is tan negative, it goes back. So when the larger values are given, we can write as the combination of n into three sixty or n into one eighty, n into ninety, that is up to. So multiply by based on the quadrant by using this method, we can decide the sine. If it is odd multiply of sine, the sine becomes cos, cos becomes sine, tan becomes cos, cos becomes tan, secant becomes cosecant, cosecant becomes secant. But the sine of the trigonometry should decide in which quadrant it belongs. Let us discuss some problems based on that. So here we give us that find the value of sine. Thirty-one by thirty-one by three. 
if you observe, we can write here, uh, yeah, you see nothing but we can write n2 is here yeah, and n2 to 5, which is the value in variable is 5. So now let us we can write here, uh, 35, we can write, uh, write uh, as a multiple of denominator. So what is the nearest multiple of denominator here we have 35 plus 5 by 3. Can you write it to a simplified or write in the form of n into 2 pi plus theta or n into 2 pi minus theta. Here n stands for multiple of 2 pi. Again here also we can write. Now simplify to this. We can simplify in this manner. So after writing this to 1 to the 10, so we have sin of 10 pi plus pi by 3. Whenever theta stands for either pi by 3 or whatever, based on that. Now, 10 pi is a multiple of 2 pi. We can write pi, pi to 2 pi plus pi by 3. As we know, 2 pi to n pi plus theta means it belongs to first order and pi on the for 2. And sin is pi only. Sin pi by 3 radius is nothing but sin is 60 degrees. You can convert or you can do directly or there is no issue as we know sin 60 degrees is 2, 3 by 2. Sometimes the sign also may change based on the question it belongs. But suppose if you write in the form of n pi minus theta, it becomes minus sin theta. Symbol will change. But in this particular case, no change in sign because it doesn't affect that. So let us we discuss one more model based on that. So first of all, we will write as product of n into 2 pi formula is a plus theta minus theta. Doesn't matter, sign will be side part will be cos, can will be cat, secant will be secant, cosecant will be cosecant. But the only change we can find that symbol, sign. It is the first quadrant, all of positive, the second quadrant, exit cos, rest will get many two. It affects the sign of that segment ratio. I mean, except the cos and the cos theta and the secant theta, the rest will take a negative sign. So, the first step we will study, then after we will write and we will have to block to pipe. So simplify, if it is larger value, if it is smaller value, we can write even near to multiple of 180, near to multiple of 90, doesn't matter, it only, if it is multiple or multiple of 90, it becomes sine becomes cos, cos becomes sine, can become cos, cos becomes can, secant becomes a secant, cosecant becomes secant. But the sign of trigonometry is so based on which quadrant is drawn. As we know, the short method, all silver P cup method. Let us discuss one more model today. So now, it is given that find the value of find the value of cos of minus seven hundred ten degrees. Actually, when we have minus theta then sin theta it become minus sin theta because it is a non even function but uh, in cos and uh, cos and secant are or, I mean even function so that is why cos and secant are even function the rest are odd function that is why if you take cosecant of minus theta it become minus cosecant theta and the tan of minus theta value minus tan theta and the cos of minus theta value is like minus cos theta. So we expect the B to into an even function. The rest is for our odd function. So when we have odd function, minus theta negative and will become the negative of the trigonometric function. Wherever cos and theta are even function, that is why cos of minus theta plus cos theta, secant of minus theta plus theta theta. We can derive like this also. Then let us, we know anti by direction, and it will be minus theta. If you say O, A, B, except 
coffee season and coffee coffee season has different types this is the positive as well and the high positive is always the positive so positive positive will become positive season also to positive very good if you consider here these values are negative this is positive this is positive If you take can potential data, I for I mean, for data opposite side is negative. That is why sine is defined as sine of minus theta. In anti-clockwise direction, only negative sine will come. So it is minus value by plus value. What is here is negative. So that is why sine of minus theta, even if the proper position of minus theta is negative. So we will get here minus minus. Even we can apply the tan part also. Wherever the total secant is positive by positive, always positive. But in this case, we have half. So half of minus theta, as we know, it is an even function. It becomes plus half theta, that is perfect. So half of one seven one zero is nine. Now let us be check which is near. It is near to eighteen hundred. And by 800 minus 90, that is to write nearest to multiple of these two operators. So that will be 1800. So cos of 1800 minus 90, we can write here. Now cos of 1800, we can write 5 into add multiple of these minus theta. And we know cos of m into 360 minus theta cos theta. Then become cos 90 degree. No change in sine of so cos 90 degree by 90 degree. So whenever we are solving problems based on this, keep in mind whether in the form of cos of minus theta, secant secant of minus theta, sine of minus theta, cosecant of minus theta, tan of minus theta, cos of minus theta. Except for cos of secant, the rest of the other things will be negative. Because copy is the ratio between adjacent side and hypotenuse. These two values are positive. Because this is positive x axis, as we know, this is positive x axis. This is negative x axis. These values are negative. This is positive. As we know, hypotenuse never negative. This is positive. So if you take the cos and the secant, according to that, which is positive by positive, that is why these are called as Even function, so cos theta and secant theta are even function. That is why both is defined for negative angle and the clockwise direction. It will become positive. Whenever sine cos theta and cos are odd function, so negative angle and the clockwise direction, it becomes negative. Point. But here we have cos of minus one thousand. So as we know, cos of cos is even function. Cos of minus theta is plus cos theta. After that, we have one thousand seven hundred and ninety-nine. Very easy to make nine hundred and ninety-nine. So we got by the cos of theta. Even we can solve further, for further problems also by using this technique. First, you keep in mind to write in the form of tan theta is equal to cos theta. Tan theta is equal to minus theta. If it is larger than zero. If it's smaller value, we can write 180 plus theta, 180 minus theta form also. Or as 90 plus theta, 90 minus theta also. After that, check apply algebra take up method to justify or to uh, find the sign. I mean, compute the sign of the sign of the geometry ratio. Then after finding it, then we will get final answer. You know the value of Uh, trigonometric ratio at particular angles in BVS class. Further, we have even 18 degrees, 30 degrees, 15 degrees, 75 degrees. How to find? Let us discuss further next class. So this, I am concluding with this, and you will get one worksheet based on this problem. And uh, so you have to solve. If you have any doubt regarding this, you can ask me next class. So I am concluding with this. Then thank you.